Off of the Maryland Million turf. So Street, first to show. Wicked Prankster with that early speed. The outside, too, is a Nick Papa Giorgio. And so it's going to be pacemaking. Up front, Wicked Prankster from Nick Papa Giorgio. So Street in third. Crabs and Beer on the outside, up close to the pace as they move around that first turn. Benny Havens is next in line. Up against it about three deep into the turn run. They're followed by Street Copper. Midnight Hauler. Cannon's Roar is next. Rum Jar on the inside. Nikki Bear racing to the back of the pack with John G and Mr. Udangelo, who is last of them all. 15, 16 lengths will cover the field. Wicked Prankster. Wicked Prankster leads. Not much pressure for Wicked Prankster. Nick Papa Giorgio is a length behind in second and Crabs and Beers in third. So Street is fourth and Benny Havens on the outside in fifth. Up against it, Street Copper is next on the inside, trying to make some headway. Street Copper now six from the pace, heading into the far turn run. Midnight Hauler called on for a little more, but still some nine from the front. Rum Jar is on the inside, followed by Nicky Bear. Cannons roar to the back of the pack with John G and Mr. D'Angelo trailing the field. Three A's to go. Wicked prankster Nick Papa Giorgio and Crabs and Beer on the scene on the far outside. So Street is next. Street Copper is now trying to surge up there three deep. And Benny Havens is also right there. Suddenly wide open. Wicked prankster until daring the field to catch Crabs and Beer. Nick Papa Giorgio on the outside is Street Copper, followed by So Street and Rum Jar on the scene late for a share. Coming to the final for a long. Wicked prankster is digging down. Crabs and Beer. Street Copper on the outside. Three chances. With yards to go, Wicked Prankster. Wicked Prankster pulls it off. It's close second. Street Copper crabs and beer, and then it was another photo. Midnight Holler, John G.
absolute joyous chaos here in the winter circle at Laurel Park as Wicked Prankster takes down the Maryland Million Turf. Sammy, I'm gonna take a big assist here. I said in pre-race, coming off a layoff, big win, five days rest, I don't see it. I was wrong, happy to be wrong. Tell me about the confidence you had to come back on this short rest. Oh, I think because he was already off for like two and a half months, so I figure if he work a week before, it's, it's not gonna hurt him. It's not like he was running like every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, instead of breeze him last week, we just run him and then get him ready for this race. Old school, I'm one of those guys who really appreciates that. I'd rather race a horse and do a race than work them and work them and work them and give them eight, 10 weeks in between races. It seemed to work for Wicked Prankster this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, and I want to say thanks to RC Park Racing Stable for sticking with me, although they're not here to enjoy this with me, but angels are real. So love to RC Park, the Park family. And I have one other question. This might be the most important question of the day. Is the red stripe going to be rolling tonight? Well, they say we have a champagne toast after this, so we're going to drink red stripe later. Yeah. Very good. Congratulations, Wicked Prankster, winner of this year's Maryland Million Turf.